When disaster strikes, Deepwater Horizon is drilling on a site named Macondo in the Gulf of Mexico. But exploratory drilling is unpredictable, and the Macondo site hasn't been playing ball. Drilling at Macondo Prospect was over time and over budget. That happens. It, it just happens. It, that you, this is the complexity of the Earth. You don't know what to expect. This is such a difficult well. One of the workers dubbed it the well from hell. Yeah, Macondo was a particularly rough well. By the day of the disaster on April 20th, 2010, drilling is almost six weeks behind schedule and $58 million over budget. That pressure for time, for speed, for safety are always intentions in every industry, and they can be particularly acute in the oil industry given the particularly high costs and the particularly high risks of some of the operations. Despite this, the later oil spill investigation finds no evidence that anyone has been told to risk safety decisions by speeding up. But still, there were a lot of decisions made, and when you look at some of these decisions, they tended to bias towards the less time, less costly option. Now, it doesn't mean that they were always necessarily more risky, but it does look like at least it's in the back of their mind. It's not an explicit pressure. Nobody's actually talking about it, but it's there, and we all know it's there. In the face of that time pressure, it takes really strong leadership from corporations in order to make sure that safety concerns aren't compromised. The reality is people want their jobs, and they worry that if they stand up, and especially if they say halt operations, that they could lose their jobs. According to the subsequent presidential investigation, almost half the Deepwater Horizon workers believe colleagues were nervous about speaking out over safety concerns. On the final court ruling on BP's liability for causing the blowout, Judge Carl Barbier in Louisiana said that profit was all that mattered in BP's decision making, and that is what was accurate. The mistakes are stacking up. BP has not completed all the urgent maintenance issues on Deepwater Horizon. Government regulation in the Gulf of Mexico is poor. And the pressure of time and money is driving operations on the rig.